We've been involved with the Health Gateway Program for two years now. Prior to that, we did have a high school experience here for a number of years. It's a program that we really value here at Budroom because it gives us the opportunity to showcase our hospital, but also various healthcare disciplines and jobs to high school students. But our relationship with Health Gateway has been fantastic and I think it's really expanded the opportunities that we're giving a number of schools and the number of high school students that we can come through our doors each year. We're getting quite creative with what we do with the program, which is enabling us to see more students. And hopefully that means we're encouraging more students to pursue healthcare careers. Workforce into the future is going to look very different to what it does, certainly from when I started my nursing career, but also from what it is now. I think digital technology is increasing at, a, at such a fast rate. Our healthcare workers are going to need to be digitally competent. We're going to be working with AI. You know, how do we do that? But also have that real, you know, empathy and human touch that we don't want to lose out of healthcare. I think that we're going to be working in such a globalised market too. We know that a lot of our healthcare graduates will work in countries apart from where they did their degrees. So we need to be culturally aware as well as, you know, being aware of the different inequalities in healthcare. So I think our education's changing, the skills that we're going to need moving forward are changing. My school are doing a great job in preparing students for healthcare careers now. There's just so many opportunities that weren't there when I was a high school student. And at Budgeville Private here on the Sunshine Coast, we're very fortunate to be in South East Queensland in an area where a lot of people study but also want to stay and live and work. So in this area, we don't have huge staff shortages, although there are areas that we know are shorter than others and those areas particularly around mental health and we know you know we have an aging workforce and those particularly are some of the areas where our, our older employees are working and so we're going to need to you know, need to encourage people to, to fill those positions from the bottom. But last year during our high school experience um, we had a lovely student from Coolum High School who, who was part of our day and was very keen to, to get into medicine or paramedicine and he asked how he could be involved in the hospital sector, what could he do to, to, to work in here more and we encouraged him to come and volunteer at the hospital and he did. And so this young boy actually works for us now in a voluntary capacity. He's also been successful in gaining a position at our local university in the paramedicine degree, which is fantastic. So he volunteers here once a week and is also starting his career in healthcare, which is wonderful. So it's those sorts of stories that we hear that make this so worthwhile and we're very excited for him. I know that for myself and also the people involved in this day get such a buzz out of it. We love giving back. We look after patients all the time and we're educating students all the time, but to have high school students come here and to be able to give back to them and encourage, even if it's one person that you encourage to come and join our healthcare workforce, then that's made our day. We really love it.